If you are a designer and you are struggling to see your color scheme or generating your color scales, then I have found a very, very interesting tool. And I'm going to share with you how to actually visually see that uh, your colors in action before even designing anything. So here we have uh, uicolors.app uh, slash create. This is the website. And you can see this is uh, just paste your hexadecimal code and this is the color scheme it has generated the color scale basically 50 100 200 uh, in the increasing number to darkest and on the left it is the lightest now here we have very very lovely examples of you can see over here uh, it also shows you what color there has been used so here we have 600 here we have 100 or 200 is the border and then we have 400 to 600 is this gradient then we have different colors like 200 for the background very very lovely representation of the color used you can see these are three different button styles and these are few um, error messages or updates or info uh, info boxes i normally call them so uh, these are different um, components and it is showing how your color can be used visually. So what I normally do is I actually copy uh, a color. It, they also have a Figma plugin. So let me let me show you. Here we have CSS Tailwind CSS color generator. So if even if you don't have Figma, let's try to copy this color right now, and um, let's break it. Copy this, and I'm going to pasting it over here. So you can see it has generated the whole uh, color scale and this is my color where it has been locked okay so if you like something you can lock it so this is the color you can unlock it or lock it anyhow so you can also switch to hsl and change the saturation lightness and other things you want to you know control over here and uh, then you can also export it into different CSS formats, Tailwind HSL, and also SVG Figma. So you can just copy the code over here and paste it in any tool. Like you can see over here, I just pasted this again. And if I copy, let's copy this color, my brand color, and let's this time use a Figma plugin, okay? So I am going to use a Figma plugin last one which was um, what was the name of this figma plugin tailwind css tailwind yes okay so it it takes some time color generator okay so we have two color generators tailwind color generator let's use this one this is the logo i saw so let's try to load it okay so here we have it and um, Let's select a color. Okay, so I think it doesn't work this way. You have to paste the color over here. So let's let's paste. Oops, what happened? Anyhow, so let's paste it over here. So here we have the color scale. So you can see it also can generate styles and variables. So I think using this plugin will be more handy. This is the color where we are at right now. So let's uh, create, um, generate a color guide and let's create styles. Ooh, this is, this is really, really nice. And the color is called Chardonnay. And I really love how it has created this whole color scheme. Really, really amazing stuff. Okay, so this one is very, very good. It also shows you all the uh, different it also names it and I think we can also find these colors over here let's see if we have uh, here we have it. Chardonnay I'm not sure how it should be pronounced but it is right now Chardonnay or Cardonnay I'm not sure anyhow so um, this is amazing plugin you can always use this one and let me know how you have found this Another website which I uh, which was interesting to me was this one. So you can see uh, when you want to see realtimecolors.com, they also have a Figma plugin. So let's try their Figma plugin, realtimecolors, 
and point it over here let's run it uh, click or generate to create a palette okay so let's try to see if it can generate a palette for my website prodesign.tech oh okay so we have to use their website link like this so let's see if i have their website link okay so here i have the website link oops so let's paste it over here and generate okay so this is how it actually works i i don't like its actual usage over here in figma but it is more useful as a tool on a website so you can see I have set different secondary colors and let's try to change it primary color and primary color let's try to change the primary color to this something like this accent color is going to be something like this so you can see it shows me some visual representation of my colors you can also load your font setup I haven't loaded any fonts I'm uh, you know good with the color so you can see it shows different sections um, you can see how the contrast works uh, I didn't like their plugin I'm not sure maybe I'm it's difficult for me to you know use it but it shows you some of the realistic uh, you know usage of your uh, colors still I think this website really wins my heart because it shows the real uh, practical examples of different components and how different backgrounds and foregrounds and different accent and primary colors can be used so you can see 950 over a 200 background it's a really good contrast and uh, that is going to be ending my video I wanted to share this tailwind CSS color generator figma plugin and online tool with you if you are not using figma plugin you are using Adobe Illustrator you can still generate uh, something like this and copy the SVG and paste it into uh, Illustrator I think it is going to work I'm not sure but you can uh, easily do that I think I'm not sure anyhow so that is all I hope that you are going to enjoy this video make sure you like share subscribe and comment uh, on how you have used or going to, or planning to use uh, this website or this tool that's all i hope and see you soon in another video till then take care bye bye